it's Keisha here in today's video is going to be a $25,000 worth of designer items haul I know that it's a lot of money but I definitely want to let you guys know that I did not just get this stuff overnight or within the course of a few days I have definitely accumulated a lot of these items within the last few years I just wanted to take an opportunity to share some of my items some of my favorite items out of my closet because I have a lot you guys I have a lot some of them still got tags on it I have yet to wear so I definitely wanted to motivate myself and definitely share with you guys items that I think is worth the money or not worth the money at all so if you guys don't like videos like this please just go ahead and exit because this is going to be a lot of price items but before I go ahead and share with you guys my items I wanted to let you guys know that there is a secret that I must reveal now it's not a big secret it's probably something that a few of you guys may know if y'all have been watching me for a period of time but that is that I wear glasses you guys and I have partnered up with glassesusa.com to share with you guys some of their famous frames off their website you guys they offer over 4,000 pairs of sunglasses and prescription glasses where you don't even have to leave home to get your items so you guys you can go to the website will be listed in the description box below all the offers and everything will also be listed in the description box below but I wanted to share with you guys how they look now like I said they offer designer items for 70% off their retail price so you guys you're getting stuff like Ray-Bans Gucci Oakley Armani all of those nice designer items for up to 70% off. So that's why you have to check out the link in the description box. Now they sent me a pair of their sunglasses and three pairs of their prescription glasses. So your girl is definitely going to go to her doctor's office and see what my new prescription is so that I can start to wear them. But for those who already have prescriptions, all you have to do is upload a picture and then you're gonna be able to sort through all of their different frames and options to see what you think looks great on your face and then you're good to go order. And there are free exchanges and returns so you don't have to worry about that so these are the sunglasses that they sent me you guys and y'all let me know in the comment section below do they look good on me or not so I definitely have a really really small shaped face so it's good to know that these are not sliding or doing any of that other funky stuff that a lot of the other um, shades that I like but can't purchase because they don't look cute on me do so you guys let me know below what you guys think about this and they come in a really nice case that you can just throw into your purse keep it your nightstand or whatever you want to do but I think these are so cute I love the shape of these and I love the fit because like I said you guys I have a very small face so I have to be very careful but this is the part you guys honestly that I'm most excited for and it's to try on these glasses because I'm getting older y'all and when you were younger you know everything is doing what it needs to do as far as your body is concerned and as you age things start to break down and I do not want my vision to break down on me so I need to start wearing my prescription frames so let me go ahead and bring out the first pair and y'all let me know which ones look the best and those are the ones that I'm going to get the prescription in first so this is option number one Mm, you guys this is so cute these are so cute you guys and like I said everything will be listed just in the description box below there's so many different items that you can try out and everything on that site is going to be quality that's what you really want you guys quality frames now this one is a olive pair this is really cute because I love this color and my everyday fits and this is cute you guys what do y'all think now it's a little bit bigger than the other pair but for the most part it's definitely staying so I don't have to worry about that I can look up down all around I'm nearsighted you guys so I usually have to wear glasses for reading okay guys so this is the last pair right here this is a lavender color and you guys if y'all see some like white stuff or something going on in my hair please don't mind y'all I'm around all these lights and your girl think that this HD is bringing out the worst. <laughs> so I don't even got time to go clear this stuff. But y'all know how this stuff goes when you're trying to, you know, fleek out your little edge part. So anyways, you guys, back to the glasses. Look how these look. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, these are so adorable. I don't know if these look a little too big for my face, but it definitely fits. And I don't mind it. Or should I just get a prescription for all three pairs? But check the link in my description box and they also have a new prescription scanner app that I think would definitely come in handy. Now you guys, on to these designer 
items. I'm so excited. So we're not even going to waste any more time. I'm going to just go ahead and start to share all of these pieces. Now, I'm not sharing every single thing that I have, all designer pieces. I may do a little overview of how my filming area looks and stuff because I have a lot more designer pieces um, put strategically around the room. Okay, guys, so this is the first designer item that I wanted to share with you guys. And the reason why I decided to share this first is because this actually was the first designer item that I purchased with my own money back in college. I believe I was like a sophomore or junior at Spelman when I went ahead and got this. And I'm so excited. It definitely came with me a long way. And I would definitely recommend it. It's very durable. And I had this at the time when I was in school. So I had my books in here, my college um, computer in here, um, like a small, I think it was like a 12-inch laptop, um, and all of the various things that girls need for necessities. And it has definitely held up. Um, you guys can definitely see some of the wear and tear on the straps of it. But I definitely would recommend for people to purchase this as a great first time use bag, especially if you have a lot of things to do. And um, fun fact, Louis Vuitton does replace straps or anything um, hardware related that may break. Um, you can ship it back to um, your um, Louis Vuitton, uh, what is it called? Like the the headquarters if you will and then they'll replace it um, and then ship it back for you so that's another good thing about purchasing designer items is that most companies will replace or fix things that happen um, to it because you're spending a lot of money and also don't forget to keep your authentication card in case you ever want to sell it so since we're at Louis Vuitton we're gonna skip over to another um, favorite from that store and those are these shoes right here now you guys have probably been seeing me wear this a lot lately and babe had purchased these shoes for me you guys and I actually have a really, really Really small foot. I wear a size two and a half, so it's so hard for me to be able to find an adult shoe that is um, really, really nice but make um, small. So a lot of designer companies do make smaller size shoes however if you just go into your everyday regular store and try to get like the smallest shoe which is a five i probably can't fit that but these shoes right here are size five they were a little bit hard to get on at first but i love this you can dress it up you can dress it down and i think these are very very comfortable which is also important since we're still at louis vuitton let's go ahead to my next favorite bag you guys and this is the speedy you guys i absolutely love it it's so durable and like i said i like to pack my bags i have so many different things you guys i just i need to do another what's in my bag um video you guys because i just keep so much stuff and it's completely necessary for me but this is a very very sturdy bag you guys don't see any wear and tear at all um the inside of the bag is kept up very nicely i know you can get like bag organizers and things like that if you see fit but i would definitely also recommend this one because it's great for everyday use um you don't have to worry about the straps or anything like that fading away because of the color of the straps and it's very very durable compared to the straps of the never full so i would definitely say that this is is worth the money and it's also one of the fairly inexpensive bags at the Louis Vuitton store so I would recommend it it's very very spacious so you can get so many things in it and it's just something really really nice for you to be able to get for your first time bag you guys out of all of my Louis Vuitton items I would have to say that this right here it's kind of like my favorite by default because I use this the most. Outside of the first bag, because I was wearing that for a long time because that was the only designer bag I had and I wanted to just always wear it. But you guys, after a while, I got my collection up and this did take time, you guys, and hard work. So I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying it did, it did take a period of time. It didn't just come overnight like I said before. But you guys, over the years, I also got another Louis Vuitton bag. Now this crossbody right here is my absolute fave right now. I'm a mom of twins. So I always have the baby bag and all the other baby stuff with me. And I sometimes don't want to have to wor worry about my own personal bag. So if I'm going out without the girls and it's just going to be me um, and just friends or something like that, then I will wear one of my larger bags. But for the most part, I'm a crossbody girl, like crossbody out. And this is like my number one worn bag ever and i wear it so much like almost every day and as you guys can see with the straps there's no wear and tear there's none of that going on and it's actually fairly large for an everyday type of bag because i'm able to still fit my camera my phone my keys gum um my lip gloss my lip liner and you know there's just random things in here like feminine wipes and there's not too much in here i'm trying to just remember off the top of my head what i put in here like an extra battery or something like that but this is like a great everyday bag i will totally recommend this if you guys are trying to because they're around the same price range i know the sizes look completely all so you would think one is 
way more expensive than the other but it also depends on which year um bag you got if you got the latest version if it's like a limited edition type bag there are different variations in Louis Vuitton that differentiate between the price if you were um had to choose between all the Louis Vuitton bags and, and you weren't in school and didn't have to worry about stuff like that I would say go with the speedy but if you were the type of person where you don't have that many stuff but you want a cute little designer bag I would go with this out of all my crossbody bags this is one of the cheaper ones um that I'm showing in this haul and I think that's everything from the Louis Vuitton store list so let's go right on over to my only item that I got from YSL you guys I have some drops on this oh my gosh I can definitely easily wipe this off but you guys I don't wear my YSL bag as much I absolutely love her and she is one of my most priciest designer bags I believe this is like 2000 or a little over 2000 if I can remember um but I don't really wear this bag as much this is kind of like when I really want to dress up and really want to put on a statement bag then I will use her the spacing is still perfect you guys like there's still like I, I keep flossing y'all know I just got rid of my braces so I have flosses I mean in all of my bags I just do some floss so that's why you see that but yes you guys so there is like some space in there for a camera a phone and just as much space as the um other crossbody Louis Vuitton bag but like I said the cost of this and you know the quality of the YSL bag I definitely just you know save it for a different day and also the color I am the type of girl who likes to match my bags with what I wear so my gray does not go with all of my items just as easily as my crossbody Louis Vuitton does so that's another reason why I don't gravitate towards this as much but as far as do I recommend it um it's definitely a splurge I bought this at a time where I just really liked it and I wanted a YSL bag and I thought this was a really cute color because I didn't have any other gray bags in my collection so it's definitely definitely a splurge I'm the type of person where if you don't have enough money to get it like two or three times in that same day, then don't get it type thing. So like I said, if you do, if you like spending your last, it's not worth it um, because this is, you know, it's just a purse. Now I also have some bags that I just got recently that will not be a part of this. So I want you guys to try to guess which bag I got. I've been talking about it for a very, very long time, but I'm going to reveal her at a later date, like maybe later on this week or whenever trying to figure it all out but you guys I have to reveal her I'm so excited about her but she's probably like my new she definitely is my new favorite 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 but I'm gonna share her at a later date um so yeah that was everything from YSL so the next thing that I have is kind of random you guys but I gotta include this this is my Burberry um baby bag so Babe had got this for my push gift, you guys. And when I say I absolutely love her, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, why would you, you know, spend so much money on just a baby bag? You guys, I use a baby bag every single day. I have kids and, you know, they're going to be small for a very long time. So it's not a, um, a waste of money. Now, one thing I say consider with the baby bag is all the spacing. I have twins and this bag works perfectly. I'm able to close this bag each and every time. And I have to pretty much double up with everything. That's twice the bottles, twice the wipes, twice the everything. So I have not done a what's in my baby bag video quite yet. So I will um, do that. Now some things I take in and take out. Um, like I just got my medical, I mean my emergency medical kit out of the bag. Um, um, cause I was trying to clean out the, you know, you change out the bibs, you put new bibs, you change out the blanket, you put new blankets, stuff like that. But whenever I'm packing up my bag and ready to go, everything's, um, able to fit securely. Like everything is in here, you guys. But like I said, if you guys want to see an actual what's in my baby bag video, let me know. But just for you guys to see, this is how big this bag is. And it just has so many different compartments. I definitely say it is worth the money. And this bag right here is probably the same. Like it was cheaper than the YSL crossbody bag. Yeah, because the crossbody bag is definitely over 2000 and this bag was definitely under 2000 So the YSL bag, like I said, is not worth it. If you're, if you're just trying to like find your first bag, you can definitely get like two Louis Vuitton bags for the same price as the YSL bag or something way more important. Um, but yeah, the YSL bag is definitely more of a splurge bag or, you know, if you just, you know, you for, for a fact you have enough to um, go ahead and get it. But yes, like I said, the Burberry bag. Oh yeah, so I do have another pair of Burberry, um, another Burberry item. So these rain boots right here, you guys. Guys, I know they look so tiny, but like I said, I wear a size two. Well, actually, I wear a two. Did I say I wear a two and a half? I wear a two. 
and I think when I was pregnant I was able to fit a two and a half for a little bit but then like the swelling went down and I'm back at a straight two but you guys so this is the two and kids I cannot fit boots and all the other stuff in designer shoes unless it is um, Christian Louboutin which I'll get into that collection a little bit later but you guys I absolutely love this so if you have some kids or you have a small size fit yourself I would definitely recommend these boots right here I also have some hunter rain boots that I truly truly love and these boots actually are fairly inexpensive like I believe these are like no more than $150 so it's inexpensive to me so you guys just have to gauge what your price point is but I definitely think this is worth it I've had this since college as well um, and it's been able to come with me for a long period of time so you get what you pay for and that's another reason why I started to buy a lot more designer items obviously I like them and then when I was able to afford them I wanted everything that I wanted and I could get it but also because of the quality you guys like a lot of my shoes like have to get thrown out because the quality does not hold up and that's exactly what I like so I believe that is all of the Burberry items. So now we're going to move right on over to Chanel. So I have a Chanel bag right here. And I know you guys always say y'all don't see me wearing this Chanel bag. And that's on, just came to talk. That's only because this bag right here is a different color. And it's huge as crap. So I usually wear it when I'm traveling. Um, and I have time to, you know... I'll have time to be out of town. Like, for instance, if I'm going to be gone for like two days or something like that, the 9 out of 10, I won't bring this. But when I'm traveling, especially now that I have the girls, and when we start traveling, I'm going to have my Chanel bag with me at all times. The quality of this is great. Now, this is one. No, actually, this is the most expensive bag here. So, I believe this bag was, I don't remember because Babe got it for me. But when I asked him, I believe it, he said... I don't honestly remember you guys, but I think I want to say about $4,000, $5,000 for this bag. And Chanel is a great quality. As y'all can see, I think it's worth it because the sizing of it, the quality of Chanel is impeccable. So you definitely would get your money's worth. And they also have the same policy as well, just like Louis Vuitton. If something happens to it, they can fix it and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about it. But I absolutely love it because it's really, really cute. And this is just making me feel like I need to find some more outfits. Because like I said, I get dressed up a lot. I have a lot of dressy clothes and not chill. So I I need to do more chill stuff because even like going to a picnic or you know walking in the park or something like that then I would be able to bring a bag like this but or also shopping you guys also shopping you I gotta get I gotta get it together I gotta get it together since we're in Chanel my favorite fragrance is actually by Chanel and it's Chanel chance you guys when I say I love this I love it and my man loves it you guys like he just kisses all over me when he smells this on me I only spray it on occasion so I'm not just always um, spraying my Chanel I have a huge perfume collection you guys can't see it as close right now because I think it's kind of blurred but I have a huge um, perfume collection so I don't have to run to it as much but on date nights I love to wear my Chanel fragrance and then I have one more fragrance that I was going to share with you guys which is my Miss Dior fragrance and as you guys can see it doesn't look like too much is going out of this and that's just because I have a very very large perfume collection so a lot of my stuff gets to keep, stay with me for a long period of time and I purchased both of those perfumes with my own money. The Chanel, I believe it, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was over $100. And the Miss Dior, I believe it was $90 or $110. Or I could be completely wrong. So, just have to look it up yourself. But I believe that was the price point. So, the next designer that we're going to get into are my Christian Louboutin collection. So, um, you guys have probably not seen a few of these items or... Um, seen them frequently enough but I have three different Christian Louboutin um shoes I need to get some black so cakes um or something else um this black but these shoes is it worth the money honestly no these shoes are very very painful but they're so stylish and they're just like you're wearing a Christian Louboutin shoe and it's just like everything so that's the main reason why I have them but I have to admit it I don't think that it's personally worth the money because the price is not going great with the comfort level of it now my Christian Louboutin loafers that I got babe got this for my birthday like two years ago or something like that and I definitely think these are way more comfortable than the heels so I can wear this every day without my feet hurting or anything like that um the quality of this is really really good you guys like this is a really really good quality shoe and I think this is a really cute design like I think that this shoe will be more worth the money than any of the other ones but these were cheaper than this I believe the tan ones are about 600 700 dollars the white ones were maybe a thousand something so the, the loafers were about a thousand something too um, because most of their shoes are over a thousand anyway, so that's why I said it's kind of not worth the money. But the sole case are you, the most most Louboutin wearers first buy 
is a, is a pair of so cakes and those are the cheaper ones like about 700 and these are my first um purchase as well um but like i said i wouldn't recommend it um just if you're thinking about comfort or you're about to go to an event I only wear this when i know i'm going to be walking in the door and sit down very very quickly or i got babe with me so he can hold my hand or something like that because this is just not the move but for pictures it's everything um and yeah so those are three of my lubison shoes and i also want to share my two pair my two lubison bags so um they bought this one for me for valentine's day this year and the other one i still have yet to wear and i just bought it just because i was gonna buy it so i'll show y'all that later that's actually babe said that's his favorite bag that i have in my entire collection and i still have not even worn it but yeah so he got me this bag i wanted a new bag i was i had my gucci bag and i kind of like slipped fell off of wearing gucci um for a period of time i kind of still pick it up here and there because it's already here so i don't want to be wasting my money because i have thousands of dollars of gucci items but i do not patronize them anymore and go into the store and just buy stuff just to let y'all know with all the craziness that went down but yeah you guys this is really really nice and i wait what's going on right here? oh i thought that was a, something going on but that just says christian Louboutin. i thought i had ripped or something but yeah with this bag right here i get so many compliments people are always coming up to me because they see the inside and it's like oh she just has a red inside but when they see the red on the bottom there like people are always like is that a Louboutin bag like and i just love it like it's so mysterious like yes but you guys that's just me being extra but i love the sizing of it and it comes with this pouch you all like this is perfect 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 all my important valuables going here you know and then i just throw them my wallet i have a um louboutin wallet that i keep in here and this is the louboutin card case that came with the first louboutin bag that i showed you guys so yeah i absolutely love this bag and i definitely think it's worth the money because the as y'all can hear like it is so sturdy like you don't have to worry about it ripping and these straps are very very nice and a lot of people don't have or to i haven't seen a lot of people with louboutin um um bags and stuff like that so you would definitely stand out now this is the bag that babe said he absolutely likes so this bag right here is another christian louboutin bag and it's kind of hard on camera to tell because this color is kind of like coming off iridescent but it's just it's a clear bag so you can take this out and you can just like it's not gonna work on camera you guys it's totally not gonna work but i gotta get this stuff out so it also comes with the okay y'all let me get it together let me get it together let me open her up and put that on the floor but it also comes with another pouch i don't know if y'all can see maybe i need to go back so y'all can see like it's just like a really really sparkly pouch so i can and this isn't clear see-through so i can put the valuable items in here but the rest of the bag is see-through but it, oh shoot hold on y'all now i'm starting to think that everything in here may not still be able to be seen because of the way they did the iridescent of it it may like show another thing to the eye i don't know if it's the camera the lighting or whatever is going on but this is a see-through bag and then the trim of this and then it also has the nice um bottom of it but i really wish you all could be able to see like how see-through this is but oh you guys this other thing that oh shoot i forgot to show these chanel shoes with my chanel bag so this is another thing that i have you guys these chanel shoes and these are size five they do not make their size five um shoes small so i have to put on i have to put a sock at the bottom and all this other stuff at the bottom so this would not be worth the money if you have a smaller foot because you're gonna have to do the most just to be able to wear them so i never opt for them but as far as budget wise if you guys are looking for a designer shoe that is not as expensive chanel has a lot of expensive bags but these shoes right here you guys i think they were like 500 600 ish dollars um so i think it was definitely worth it also got this chanel necklace that babe got me for christmas but i really really like this necklace and this is it this is real diamond necklace it will not you know give you um a, um, this is a real diamond necklace so it's not going to aggravate your skin and of course since I'm showing diamonds I must show my diamond ring you guys because I absolutely love my ring this is from Mayer's babe got this for Mother's Day for, for me and I absolutely love it because it's real diamond and I just be bling and blinging everywhere it's the shape of a heart and this is you know my promise ring so I'm so happy about that and I believe that is everything 
Y'all, my battery just totally died. I'm so sorry. But anyways, I want to make this really, really quick. This battery isn't charged as much either. But you guys, so I have one more thing I want to share with you guys, which is the girl's nursery furniture. I wanted to share it with you guys in case y'all didn't see the nursery tour. I'm not going to do the whole nursery tour. There is a dedicated video for that. But the girl's nursery furniture was actually quite a splurge. It was almost $10,000 for their entire nursery, but I absolutely love it. The quality is everything. I really, really love the look of it. And I'm always getting questions about it. So I might as well feature in this designer haul, if you will. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm not going to do a in-depth um, nursery tour or anything like that. I'm just going to focus on the cribs and the crowns um, and the bookshelf right here. And this is their dresser area right here. So this is the furniture that I got from rhbaby.com. And like I said, it was definitely a splurge. But the quality, like, is going to be able to go with them forever. Even when they get um, into their own rooms, when they get, you know when they're in elementary school and stuff like that i can definitely get um a toddler bed and all the other stuff and the crowns can still come because i think the crowns individually were like 300 400 dollars and then you know this is the crib but this is a really really nice quality crib and this website is really really good you guys like it has a lot of different unique um nursery pieces and it goes up to kids and just houseware and stuff like that so i definitely wanted to feature it because it is a higher end furniture store you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said i'm not trying to brag or anything i just wanted to share some of the items that i have that cost a lot of money and tell you guys if it's worth it or not like i said if you guys want me to do an in-depth um baby bag video and how to authenticate um items um because all of my items are bought in the stores i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out glassesusa.com the link will be in the description box below and i'll see you guys in the next video